Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I forgot where the camera was there for a minute. <laughs> Fear down. A place to feel safe. A place to call home. Yeah, that looks like a safe home. The wall with all the bullet holes in it. <laughs> did he? My sister... My mom. She, she did the same thing. That's a lot for her to come to terms with though. She's like, my sister... Oh no, wait, my mom. But she's dead now, so like... <laughs> Teddy's probably there like, Jesus, you had a more fucked up upbringing than I had. You don't want what all of us want. Someone to love you just the way you are. Murderous little villain that you are. Conclusions. You don't belong anywhere in a world where things are just about to get started. Like, oh, well, you know, in true fear style, he's like, I'm a villain. So I'll probably die in one to two episodes. But you, on the other hand... You might live at least till the end of the season. Question when you're trying to figure out if you still want to be a part of what we're doing here. This is what's left of the emergency batteries. He kind of reminds me of Luke Skywalker a little bit, but he, like if he was left in the womb a bit too long or not long enough. That dude. When I found Riley, he was a broken man. I don't think this is what she had in mind. Well, it looks like we're in the control room at fucking NASA. So no, I wouldn't say this is what she had in mind. And just that not a lot of people want to die. Getting them to do that, that's... That takes something else. That stick has been in the ground for like two episodes and Morgan's like, right, it's something it's time to break this bad boy back out. <laughs> He's like, all life is precious, but I need to go on a little bit of a murder spree. You just have to be willing to uh, die with them. Is that all? It doesn't take anything. You just gotta want to die with them, you know. They'll, they'll pretty much follow you then. Morgan's like, now listen guys, I am ready to die with you, but I'm not gonna say that because I don't want you to feel like you're in a cult or anything, okay? I stand by what I said the first time we saw that. That looks like a giant whale. Well, if they fire the missile, being near this sub is probably the safest place to be. Anywhere else we're just sitting ducks. True! Oh my god, you could totally fuck up Teddy's plan. Why don't we all just move into the missile? And then it'll be like, bombs away, bitch. It's not gonna hit us. Yeah, the ankles are just not it, Morgan. She's taking a big risk if she fires that weapon. Look, I know. I know she's Dory's wife and she's got a hell of an aim. But sweet mother of Jesus, what were the chances of her actually landing that shot? We haven't really talked about what the time. Yeah, Morgan, we're in a giant fucking missile submarine, okay? We're all living in a submarine of possible future death. So, let's, like, shelve the the big meaningful conversations for a later time, yeah? You were here for a reason. You gotta be. And I think it, it might just be so that you can build that future that Athena showed you. Lucy, you got an idea how many crew members there were on this boat? 215. <laughs> Give or take. Oh, wow. The walkies aren't working? <gasps> Shocker. In true fear fashion, when the shit hits the fan, the walkies go bye bye. Lucy, can you hear me? Just climb back up the ladder to have a quick talk with Lucy. Be like, wait, how many of these, you know, undead fucks should we be anticipating? <laughs> go ahead. See? We need to know the crew compliment. I'll Wait. Did you hear that? A hundred and fifty. I wish you hadn't. Yeah, but look, the door is so small and so round. <laughs> Open it up and you can kill them as they come through the door. Is that the only way? It looks like it. Of course we gotta go through the door of groaning death. Where else would we be? I'm coming to we're all gone into the into the death trap. He kind of reminds me of Stephen Ogg, but slightly less eccentric. The poor walkers must be so absolutely dumbfounded. They've been chilling in the dark by themselves. And suddenly this one man strobe show comes in with his flashing lights and his little weird radio that gives us the bad news numbers. Locking us in? We don't want any surprises. In case any of his followers get past our folks outside. Okay, good point. 
Matthew spent 40 years behind bars and knows how to work this shit. Or if these missiles are even fly, Jake. No one's launching anything as long as the power's out. Just press a, press a bunch of buttons and see if they can still launch. If you hear a big bang, you know, oh, well, we have liftoff. <laughs> oh, come on, you know damn well who this is. Teddy? It's the crazy fucking mama's boy, that's who it is. Bingo! You recognize this voice, Teddy? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't. Burn. Teddy's like, you're irrelevant. I don't know your voice. Think you're special to me, bitch? You're not. <laughs> well, I see today ending quite differently, officer. I hope you know there are no hard feelings. If you hadn't put me away, I wouldn't be sitting where I am right now. It means she's tucked away someplace where you'll never find her. So she's not on the ship then? Okay, <laughs> bye. I'm giving them a second chance, Morgan. He's like, I told them I'll die with them. They're cool with it. I do on the same thing. Except I'm not fooling myself about what I'm doing. Okay, except Morgan didn't know that this was a death trap. He didn't know you motherfuckers were ready for death. Well, I guess the only thing we can take comfort in is the fact that like, all of our major characters, with the exception of Alicia, are in the one room. So, like, they're not all gonna die, so the submarine is probably gonna make it to the end of the episode. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. What happened in here? They died, D. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hang on, we're slowly splitting up, so are we? It's Morgan and Strand. They've isolated How themselves. What I think is, is I've been leading these people from one dead end to another. All the time promising that it will lead to something different, something better. Alicia asked me a difficult question when we were at the lodge. She asked if I was doing this for everyone, if I was doing it for me. And? He's like, I don't know, Morgan. I'm, I'm having a bit of a fucking breakdown right now, okay? I need you to know that. Didn't want to bring it up earlier, but I'm a bit claustrophobic. Really? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Well, that's not good. What the fuck kind of breakdance is she doing? See, I don't like that shit. I'm fine with walkers. I'm fine with zombies and spooky shit. When people start throwing all weird kinds of shapes with their bodies, that's what freaks me out. It's not safe for them to be here though, is it? The radiation's too high, so surely we should be either suiting up or getting the fuck out. We kill them, we climb that ladder. We lose too much okay, time. then you're upstairs we above the room we need to get into. All I'm doing is thinking this through. You want to do what's best for everyone. Now would be the perfect time for a really odd Easter egg. Like we should just see Jesse McCartney running around the ship deck. Did he die? I don't remember what happened to him. I remember him vaguely turning up and I think it was season two, but I don't remember what happened to him after that. You know, whatever you had to prove, you approved it. He didn't want you to run through the crazy room that would kill you from radiation. How can you get mad at him for that? What? Strand. Did he just try to kill Morgan? He just undid like three seasons of character development in that one scene. Did he really just try to kill Morgan? <laughs> Bitch, Strand is a little bit unhinged at the moment. I'd be, I'd be careful. Well, sure. If I lived with you, I'd have to be a whole different person. I'd have to fall into the ways of what Morgan wants. I'd have to be a functioning member of society. Morgan's way. Alicia? She's still gonna be here. Because she is a beginning. Me and you? Someone's gonna come out of nowhere and hit her over the head. I can just feel it. He's like, I don't die, bitch. Good, but at the same time. I, 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 I just, I don't get why Strand did that. I don't you get why he tried to kill Morgan. Me. I can't let that be for nothing. He's strangely okay with the fact that Grace, Strand just tried to kill I'm him. Here, He's just chill right. with it. He's like, yeah, well. 
Mel's Morgan's shoulders must be absolutely killing him from carrying this entire show. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Strand, stop trying to rationalize what you did. You fucked up, dude. You fucked up. You tried to kill. You tried to kill the leader of the whole goddamn thing. It's like when you forget your password and you are just putting everything. You are throwing everything at it, hoping something will stick and let you in. <laughs> He's like, I can't remember my recovery email, Strand. No. This one doesn't work. We ain't getting in. Well, like they said, this is the safest place, right? Unless it just goes up in the air and falls straight back down on top of us. Yeah, but it looks like it's fucking off away from us, so... You know, all things considered, could have been worse. Just saying. There are ten warheads on that missile. You'll see where they land. Ten? It's gonna be hard to miss around here. On the one? I've been where you are, Morgan. Yeah. Well, I don't think you have. I was I... change everything. Boy. Prison sentence. Morgan nearly died today already and now he's dealing with 10 but missiles about to fall out the sky. I really don't think you've been where he's been before. You just won't get to see it yourself. Rip his beard off. Grab a fistful and just fucking pull and be like, that's what you get, you crazy homicidal bastard. Or not, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Wanna tell us why you let the suicide cult leader go? I did what I did to save lives. Did you say you did this for anybody but yourself? You did it so you could tell Alicia what a big hero you were here today. Leave. Not like a bit of attempted murder to get you banished. I mean, I feel like he's getting off lightly here. If I was Morgan, I'd... I'd probably lodge something in the back of his head a little bit. See, you probably shouldn't. But I would have the overwhelming urge to turn the key just to see what happens. <laughs> Watch as like 30 other missiles are launched and I'd be like, huh, oh, okay, so that's what it does. Alright. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this week's reaction. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Um, the link to my Patreon is down below where there'll be an extended version of this reaction put up. I upload twice a day over there, so there's a whole bunch of shows that's currently ongoing. And uh, we're also in the middle of doing reactions for the MCU. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff over there to check out. So the link is down below. Um, the link to my Twitter, my Instagram is also down below if you want to say hey or not, you know, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.